Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first and foremost, on this beautiful day, I have to uh, wish our condolences and prayers to the families in Chardon, Ohio. Um, uh, our community of Chardon uh, was, um, uh, with deep regret, had a tragedy of tragedies uh, yesterday. And uh, uh, our family, the Hannah family and the Hannah company in our Chardon office uh, uh, are in sympathy and uh, great respect uh, for those who uh, lost their lives in this such a tragic, tragic, uh, terrible event. Um, now I'd like to talk a little bit about real estate and uh, change the mode a little bit, the mood a little bit. Um, I, I want to talk about uh, this past month we've we've attended uh, six rallies our seventh rally is tomorrow uh, of nine regional rallies and uh, they have been great successes great fun great enjoyment uh, all different in styles and um, but most of all we've had a chance to uh, to reward and uh, uh, acclaim so many of the great great people of this company that made a spectacular and great 2011 in residential real estate and commercial real estate. So I uh, applaud everyone who have, have had a chance to talk with and be with the last uh, month. And uh, as I say, we're gonna be in the south tomorrow and uh, uh, Pittsburgh and the east, uh, east side of Cleveland tomorrow or on Thursday. So it, it's, uh, we finish ne next week with uh, our Harrisburg Central Pennsylvania group. So it will it'll continue with the same momentum we've had. So I wanna congrat congratulate everyone. One of the things that we talked about and for those who have not attended the rally yet, you'll learn all about it. Our new exclusive agreement uh, with uh, the two major aggregators uh, of, uh, of websites, and that is uh, Zillow and uh, Realtor.com. And as you know, uh, not only are they uh, great, great sites, but they also power uh, MSN, they power uh, AOL, and the numerous other sites. So uh, it's really going to be a, a unique unique, uh, if you've already been going on Zillow and uh, Realtor.com, you're starting to already see the great results of what the site looks like now, what those sites look like now, that they're certainly green and gold uh, and the Howard Hanna logo is dominant and uh, is the major, major player on those sites in our markets. So uh, I congratulate everybody for our marketing team, our IT department, uh, Helen, uh, Hobie, Barbara Reynolds, uh, uh, Dan uh, Riley, the, the whole group that just did a great, great job of uh, over the last 18 months of uh, figuring out uh, where to go and how to go and where we should be as the leaders once again uh, in marketing uh, our real estate properties and our real estate uh, agents and, uh, and teams in the offices. So congratulations to a great effort from so many people within the company. I also may want to just highlight our new March 1st, we will be kicking off our rapid response program in which every IDX lead that comes in, every IDX lead that comes in, we had 18,000 IDX leads last year, but those IDX leads, for the first time, we're gonna guarantee they're gonna be scrubbed, clean, evaluated, and uh, within 15 minutes, we're gonna get back to those folks with a new uh, program called Rapid Response, in which we're gonna be t roughly 24-7 uh, on top of these leads as they come in. And so we're gonna be able to get back to those folks within 15 minutes through a telephone call, if we had their telephone number, or through uh, email. And be able to get more data, more information, and then get that out to you, the Howard Hanna Realtor. And it's gonna go to people who, you've gotta be, uh, you gotta be tech savvy, you gotta be ready with your, with your iPhones to be able, and smartphones to be able to respond rapidly to these folks. Uh, but we're gonna get those leads to you in 15 minutes, and, uh, and then be able to, follow up and dashboards uh, to your follow up with them. So it's gonna be a lot more leads, a lot more leads, a lot more leads, which will mean more buyers, more sellers, more mortgages, more title mortgage, more insurance pro policies uh, through the Howard Hanna Network in 2012 than ever before. Um, you know, and we were talking about uh, at uh, the event actually in North of Pittsburgh, North Hills of Pittsburgh event, uh, we were talking about uh, we will be uh, actually be able to be on, on I think 12 different languages. Our, our, our sites will be on 12 different languages we'll go to, uh, from Korean to Indian to Japanese, Chinese, German, uh, French, uh, you know, all, all major languages of the world. And I think that's gonna be a big influence. And <clears throat> in conversation afterwards, I was talking to two agents, two very good agents in our Fox Chapel office, uh, Su Ping Wong <coughs> and Su uh, Kamal. And in my discussions with them, we were talking about how they can make sure, not only our own, own website, how they can make sure that people realize that they can speak, uh, in Sue's case, uh, Indian uh, uh, fluently in many dialects, as well as uh, Sue, 
is uh, her native tongue is Chinese, so she can speak uh, uh, different Chinese uh, dialects, and uh, and she you know she knows not only the language they both know the language, but also know the culture. And I was saying to them, not only have that on your homepage, your website page, and have it in there on your business cards, and have it on through everything you do, but I would also include it on your individual listings. I mean, if I could speak a second language or a third language, I would so mark that on the actual listings that I have. So if I've got 10 listings, I would, I would put on in the, ball, in the remarks section that I speak fluent Italian or fluent uh, English. I can't even speak fluent English, you know, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll try. But, but if I have a second language, I would, I would, be able, I would just so say that in, in, in the native tongue. And uh, I'd put it on each of my listings, and I'd put it in every, everywhere I advertise, on, on the website, in a newspaper ad, uh, uh, Homes Magazine ad, business card, uh, put that fluently, put that in there, in the actual, in the native, in the native uh, transcript of what, you, what your language you can speak also. And I think that'll drive more people to those of you who do have a second language skill. Um, January. You know, we finished January, and I haven't had a chance to really talk and highlight the numbers, but our closings were up 30% in January over last January. Our written business was up 21%, okay? And that was after a great up month in November, great up month in December. And now we're almost towards the end of February, and, and it's, you know, it's early for us to really tell you exactly uh, what the numbers are, but it looks like we're on track to be up 19 or 20% in closed business in the month of February, and I might be a little bit shy in this, but I think it's 19 or 20 percent. And written, I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 15, 16 percent in new written business. Momentum is just so strong, it continues to roll, continue to tell us that home ownership is very much alive and well, certainly within Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, New York, the market area where we, we know. And I think that reflects that alive and well is in, our, in the consumer confidence numbers that the federal government puts out. In January, we were up to 104, 105% on the scale, up to 125. This time last year, we were in the mid 80s on the consumer confidence when it came to housing. So I think there's just a lot of, lot of reasons to be very positive as, uh, as we continue this market. And I, I think interest rates have been a dominant factor, I pay, pent up demand, the first time buyers, and people have been in houses 12, 13 years, very strong. But I look at this consumer confidence as the real, as a driving force. When the consumer says, I want to own, and I, I've always wanted to own, I took myself out of the marketplace for three or four years, but I've changed and I am, I am back and ready to go. Um, uh, we asked you earlier in the month to get back to all of those clients you sold houses to from 1998 to 2003. Those people have equity in their houses. They have a desire to move up, to move to a bigger neighbor, better neighborhood, to move to a bigger house, to move to a newer house, to move to a different school district, to scale down. You know, they, they have those same desires, and they've, been, they've kept themselves in those houses much longer than they typically would have, the eight years and three months, which seems to be what typical family moves. So, you know, I, I, I cajole you, I request you, I've said that is at the rallies, get back to those folks. Get back to those people you sold houses to and get back to them with a story. And, and if you weren't in the business uh, 10 years ago or 12 years ago, ask your manager to give you leads of those customers that bought houses from agents who are no longer in the business and get back to those folks and, and, and tell them a story. Tell them about a great new listing. Tell them about a great new listing on the market that might be good for them. Tell them that you've got buyers for their house because certainly we do. Supply of listings are down to levels in the 2005 area, era. You know, we, we, everybody needs more listings. And uh, so we got buy, we, when you need more listings, that means you got buyers for people's houses. So reiterate that back to everybody you're in conversation with. Get back to people that you, you sold houses to. Um, so, uh, and, and last little tidbit suggestion I would do to help build your listing base. I, I recommend everybody go on Craigslist for rentals. I was on Craigslist night before last, Sunday night. And I was amazed how many rentals were listed in, on Craigslist in Fox Chapel and O'Hara Township where I live, you know? I must have, I must have seen five or six or seven of, of houses. And I can't believe if those sellers knew that you had a buyer for their house, they wouldn't be more interested in selling that house in 2012 uh, in than renting it. 
You know, just, just think about that. You know, go, just go to Craigslist and just see how many listings there are of people that could be house, houses for sale, single family homes. Have a great rest of the week. We're finishing this month with a superb closing. I understand at the corporate office in Pittsburgh, the closing rooms uh, tomorrow and the next day are, are taken from like 8 a.m. to 8, 8 o'clock at night. That's how many roundtable closings we have just going on here. You can't get a closing in the next two days at the corporate office, at least in one of the conference rooms. We'll close you up in this office. We'll close you any place, but at least downstairs in the conference rooms. So enjoy the rest of this week. Enjoy this great, great weather, and enjoy uh, perhaps the best winter real estate market I've ever been in the many years I've been practicing real estate. Have a great time.